The sketch was made using a pigment liner. I take a photo with my phone and import it into GIMP. I change the contrast and then I change the background so it's a different color than white. I start filling in the main forms using color. And uh, after I'm done with the skin tones, I just basically choose a color that I think would look good for each of the elements. Start cleaning up the line work and then on a new layer I paint over the original line work using a tablet and uh, I'm not too concerned about the color. I chose this color because it's different than the black and I can see where I've drawn. I later on change this color. As you can see I try several times, sometimes I delete lines until I get a look that I like. I change the hair color back to black now and I start deleting some of the original pen line work that can be seen underneath. I didn't like the way the eyes looked so I tried several different designs for the eyes as well and the eyebrows before finding this one that I stuck with. And it's okay to experiment, delete, retry things as you can see I do that quite a lot. I use a lot of layers as you can see on the right side. I deleted the background and just added this small block of color. I think it looks much better. And uh, then I start adding a bit of shading to the hair and a bit of highlighting. I didn't want to use too many tones. I wanted to keep it looking sort of like a simple illustration, maybe something from clip art. And then I start experimenting with the colors of the clothes. Usually when I'm picking a color, once I block in the colors, I then use the tool that you can change the whole block of color with all at once. And I slide the slider around until I get the tone I enjoy. Right now I like the way the background and her top contrast, so that blue and that orange, makes it sort of pop off the background. It's worth studying color theory if it's not something that you're familiar with. It can help your art just look that extra bit more interesting and better if you understand color and contrast. Cleaning up the book and I decided to change the color again so that it's more noticeable. I put a simple illustration on the front and pretty much almost done, just finishing off some random things here and there that I saw adding some extra strands of hair. A bit of highlighting. And that's it.